Okay, so this is the following and probably the final video that we're going to bring to you showing our kind of R&D, if you like, on working out the revision of our 3090 multi-GPU workstation, the Molecule. Now, we've kind of taken an executive decision to make the machine a six-way and not go with eight-way. 3090s and we'll explain why now um, so you can see we've kind of tidied this all up a bit um, here's the EK manifold that we've been testing with throughout and here is five um, 3090 EK Azus collabs a really lovely card which has taken quite a lot of abuse over the last uh, week or so so uh, kudos to, to them. They, they've really pulled it off. It's, it's a really great card. We would like to see an all black version, um, but we'll, we'll wait and see what happens. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. So firstly, what you'll see compared to our old configuration was that we've got some gaps now between the GPUs. Now this motherboard that we've been using um, with the Xeon W series processor, um, it's only seven PCIe slots. We do typically use in the molecule the Supermicro X11 DPX, which has got 11 slots. So we can't actually show you this working configuration with six GPUs because the spacing doesn't work on seven slots. But the way that we're going to do it now is we're going to do two, gap, two, gap, two. And the reason for this is that these GPUs aren't true one slot as I think so many of us hoped um, and even if they were they still wouldn't work and here's why the GPU memory junction temperature which is on the back side of the card is the reason that 3090s have these big hulking back plates on them now these are really slender thin aluminium ones they've got thermal pads underneath and they're obviously distributing the obscene heat that comes off of these um, off the memory junction when you are rendering. Um, if you if you just look on YouTube, the amount of guys that not that we do it, but doing mining and stuff, uh, they're they're getting obscene temperatures. And it was kind of some of these videos that alerted us to this, and we took a look. And whereas ours weren't getting maybe up to 100 C we weren't too far off with six of them in a solid cluster so the days of being able to just put all of your GPUs directly next to each other in an eight-way configuration I think have gone I think those days have gone you know we'll, we'll see what comes out but I know a lot of companies I think EK themselves are now starting to water cool the rear of the cards the back side of the cards as well as the um, front where the uh, GPU dies so this is obviously just the way it goes and you know you've got to be versatile if you're a system builder and, and work out different ways for it to for it to be able to work so by doing this spacing even though we're still having clusters of two GPUs next to each other we found that the temps came down by you know maybe like 10c and we're seeing um, sort of 70 75 around about that per GPU per two-way cluster. So I think we're happy with that. I think it's absolutely fine. Again, the molecule in the redesigned chassis, the front is actually going to be 40 mil, uh, sorry, 140 mil fans instead of 120s that we typically have used. And so bearing that in mind, and there'll be Noctua Industrial, that's, that's what we use in the molecule, you're going to get some serious airflow coming from the front of the machine straight into the back of the cards utilizing these single gaps between each two gpus and i think that's going to make for a very happy system so that's configuration we're going to go with um eight way would have been nice and the cooling setup can definitely handle it we've got no issue with the cooling setup we've, we've tested it with a within an inch of its life and we'll get onto that now because that's probably the most exciting part of all of this testing that we've found and that's kind of 
going to steer us in a certain direction. So the the new molecule vision, version three um, will be a, a bit of a radical departure from this. We're going to keep the overall chassis size very small, um, sort of 450 by 450 um, and around about 400, 450 in height. So it's still going to be a really compact unit that effectively can easily fit under anyone's desk. Um, and then that's going to go into our flow module. So the flow module is effectively the Mora radiator from Watercool, which after all of this testing now has impressed us even more. It really is the best. It is the best. We just can't, we can't fault it at all. So we're going to downsize. We're going to go back to the 360 that we used in the original molecule version. Um, we're going to use twin 360 Mora 3s. That's going to give us up to three kilowatts of heat dissipation, which is absolutely fine for 63090s and a GP, uh, CPU as well. Still going to have the dual D5 pumps um, and all of this will be in our chassis, which we're halfway through the CAD work now. So hopefully we'll be able to actually show you what that's going to look like within a week or so. Um, really excited for it. But what we're most excited about is what you're seeing here um, is its placement. Now, it's been snowing here in the UK, so it's been really cold. Uh, it's got to about minus two, minus three where we are. Um, so obviously we've had to turn the heating on. Um, even bench testing systems and whatnot, what, which normally provides more than enough heat in the workshop, has not been enough. So the heating's on. So obviously it's hotter in here. So we've been running around sort of 25, 26 C. And as you can see here, and this machine is running octane pretty much on loop we're hitting 36 37 the window is cracked open ever so slightly but this is what's so great by decoupling the heat the cooling system the heat you can just allocate it if you like to a different part of the room in this case we've got it next to a window and that just helps so much um you can't get a whole workstation and just pop it on your windowsill or, well, you can't in most offices or homes, remote working. So having this sort of compact, and it will be quite compact once, once we've finished because we're not going to use the 420. Um, it's going to have some weight to it, probably be about, I don't know, 18 kilos, something like that. But by having that separated... And bearing in mind, we've been testing this with three meters of hose. So three meters away from the main molecule for the flow module is going to be quite a nice solution. Um, and it's just, it's, just been, it's just been really nice to be able to decouple them and get these kind of results. So we're definitely, definitely sold on the solution. Um, we're just going to button up all of the, um, the little bits that's going to make this different to maybe any of the solutions you can get at the moment i mean cool lance makes a solution but again it's using fans that go up to i think maybe 5000 rpm you know it's a jet engine this is a hundred percent load the noise that you can hear is the server in the background and we've got two other machines um that are having burning tests at the moment this this configuration I mean, it really is pretty much silent. We've talked about floor noise of the room in the previous videos. Um, our, our room sits somewhere around 36 to 38 dB. That's just the noise of the room. And this just doesn't add anything to it, a dB or two. So it's going to be a really, really great solution for really high powered GPU use. But yet having this separated, decoupled, cooling solution that is going to look just as beautiful as our nano and atom chassis um, all laser cut aluminium still we've got a couple of really nice new things that we're going to add to it so that's where we're at you won't see any more of these crazy videos because we're signing this off so now it'll just be getting back onto the design get the CAD work finished and the next videos you'll see will be something really quite beautiful so on that note, 
over and out and hope you've enjoyed these videos.